In this review, I'm going to review the original Child's Play from 1988. But before I do, I'm going to explain why I don't watch or review remakes that come out. Today, a common complaint among moviegoers is that Hollywood doesn't make original content anymore. And that's simply not true. They make hundreds of original mu movies every year. People just don't go out to see them. They do poorly at the box office. This just tells Hollywood that people want to see more of the same thing. Thus, remakes are made and fewer and fewer original properties get made in place of that. The amount of remakes being puked out is only increasing and it really sucks. And I'm not necessarily mad that there are remakes in general. There will always be remakes. It's never gonna be something I'm interested in. I know that some other people will be and that's okay. What sucks is that now remakes are some of the biggest movies of the year. They're taking precedence over original content being made. Why should Disney focus on making original live action and give them bigger budgets when it's their remakes, their live action remakes that are doing so well at the box office? So I don't go out to see remakes. I, the whole notion makes no sense to me in the first place. I've already seen the story. Why would I want to see it again with new actors? But more importantly, I just don't like what they're doing to the industry. So when remakes come out, you'll never see me review them, but instead I'll honor the original and review that. So with my rant on remakes out of the way, the original Child's Play was released in 1988 and was directed by Tom Holland, and no, not the Spider-Man Tom Holland. Highly coincidentally, I watched a Twilight Zone episode with an evil living doll the same day I watched Child's Play. It wasn't planned out at all. And going in, I thought, how many times can a story about an evil living doll be told? I mean, it's just a concept we've, we've seen plenty of times before. But hey, I was still entertained throughout the whole movie. Yes, it's cheesy, and it knows it's cheesy, and it works. One key thing this movie does well is that it doesn't take too much time setting up the story. The movie sets up Chucky within about five to 10 minutes. And after that, it doesn't really take too much time before we see him start to kill. Most times the reason horror movies fail is because they don't build enough suspense. Child's Play definitely built some suspense, but it is one of those special cases where you didn't need to spend a lot of time alluding to what was about to happen. The audience knows Chucky is an evil doll. They know what's going to happen and the movie delivers. They don't wait until the final act to show Chucky killing someone. The special effects were really good. And Brad Dourif did such a good job voice acting Chucky, like dang, he gave him not only like a creepy personality, but a dirty, cheap, just straight up evil personality. The acting was okay too, especially for having a child star as one of the main actors. It wasn't the best horror story ever, but it was pulled off well because the director knew exactly what he was working with. Wasn't too long, didn't try to get too complicated. It was paced very well and had a simple story, even if it was a bit by the numbers, especially by today's standards. It's a good horror classic. It, it holds up today. Chucky is creepy and he never stopped. He was such an evil, just enemy in the movie. I just hated him so much and I feared for the main characters' lives. And unfortunately, this horror movie did what almost all horror movies do, and that's that the main characters made a lot of just dumb decisions all around. That you just scream at the movie like, no, don't go in that room, or whatever. But that's okay, I mean, almost every horror movie does that. And the times in this movie where it happened weren't too egregious. So anyway, Entertaining, horror classic, holds up today. I'm gonna give Child's Play a seven out of 10. Thanks for watching my review of the original Child's Play. Make sure to comment what your thoughts of the movie are below. And your thoughts on remakes too. I'd love to hear them. And I'll see you for my next review.